Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Kim and welcome to Mrs. Kim's Building Blocks. Today, we're going to have art lessons. Let's have an art lesson about Georges Seurat. He is a very famous painter. This is his painting and it's called Sunday Afternoon. This painting is so famous that someone made a garden to look just like the painting. Can you see the people and the animals in the garden that look just like the people and the animals in the painting? Wow, this is so neat. Don't you think so? What do you think about this painting? How does this picture make you feel? As we look at this painting, what can we learn about the way that Georges Seurat paints? To make his painting, Georges Seurat used a lot of dots. If we look very carefully, you can see all the little dots of paint that he used to make this painting. Here's another part of the painting. Wow, look at all the dots he used in just this little part of the painting. Have you ever used dots to make a drawing? These are dot painters. Using them to paint can be a lot of fun and we can be just as creative as Georges Seurat. Georges Seurat was a very smart artist. Artists can decide on the focus of the picture. The focus is where the artist wants us to look. Look at the picture very carefully. Where is everyone in the painting looking? They are all looking towards the water. What do you think that they see? Paintings can also be used to record history. Georges Seurat painted a picture of a different time and a different place. Look at what all the people are wearing. Look at the animals in the painting. Look at what they're doing in the picture. This picture was drawn from 1884 to 1886, which was a very long time ago. The painting shows us what people dressed like back then, what kinds of hats they wore, and what kinds of things that they did on a Sunday afternoon. Let's review our lessons that we learned from the artist, Georges Seurat. Number one, we can use dots for our artwork. Number two, as the artist, we can make people share our focus. And number three, we can record history in our artwork. Now it's our turn. Do you have your copy of the Sunday afternoon and some crayons, markers, color pencils, or paint? If you don't, it's okay. Just pause the video, go and get them, and then come back. Mrs. Kim will wait for you. Now, you can paint along with Mrs. Kim. Try to use only dots to make your picture if you can. If you don't want to, you can just color the painting and have a good time too. Mrs. Kim will draw mine while you draw yours. Hmm, I wonder what color I'll begin with. Remember, if I'm going too fast, just pause the video and then we can continue together when you're ready. Let's begin. Hmm, I wonder what color I'll use first. I think that I'll start with blue. I'm gonna use dots of the blue color to make this man's pants. What color are you starting with? And where in the painting do you want to begin? Wow, look at that! And I'm going to use red to make this woman's shirt. What colors are you choosing? Are you making dots too? Or are you just coloring? 
let's see what color I'll use next. I think I'm going to use this dark green for my tree here. Okay, I'm gonna have to use a lot of dots to make this whole tree. What are you coloring? I hope that you're having a good time because I like spending this time with you too. I'm gonna start off with the dark green like this and make lots of dots for my tree. But you know what? I think I'm gonna do something a little different. And I'm also going to use the lighter green. What do you think about that? Do you like that? Are you doing something different? There we go. Oh, with the light green and the dark green, I really like how my tree turned out. Let's see, what color should I use now? You know what? I think I'm going to use an orange and I'm going to color in this woman's skirt, just like this. What do you think about that? Do you like that? How's yours going? Let's take a little pause here and we can both finish our paintings afterwards. How is yours turning out? I am sure that you are just doing a wonderful job. This is a painting that someone gave to me. If you want, please contact Mrs. Kim at Mrs. Kim's Building Blocks. And if you send me a picture of your painting, then I'll show your painting on Mrs. Kim's Building Blocks so that I can brag about you, okay? Okay, so please send me a copy of your work. I would love to see it. You know what? Time is already up. I had such a great time with you today and making beautiful art together. Before we go today, remember, Mrs. Kim thinks that you are so special, so sweet, so smart, and so artistic. Thank you so much for coming today, and I hope to see you next time at Mrs. Kim's Building Blocks. Bye-bye. I'll miss you and see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.